Hello, we're from the Community Learning Disability Team in Sheffield. We'd like to talk to you about occupation and how it can keep you safe, well and happy while you're staying at home because of the coronavirus. Occupation is not just about jobs, it's the way we all use our time. This can be going to college, playing games, shopping, being active, spending time with family and the role we have like being a sister, uncle, daughter, worker, volunteer and much, much more. We have all experienced a change to our occupations and roles. We will be telling you about how you can manage the changes and offering advice on how to stay occupied at home, enjoying meaningful activities. While we all stay at home to keep safe, it is really important to look after our minds and bodies. Looking after our bodies can be done by eating and drinking healthily with small treats for fun. It can be useful to plan your meals for the week to give you purpose, to make sure you're eating the right things and that you only have to shop once a week. While alcohol can be a nice treat for many of us, we need to make sure we're not drinking excessively as this can impact on our mood and physical health. Exercise naturally energises us and we can keep our bodies well by exercising and keeping active. Exercise can include many things such as walking, dancing, yoga, aerobics, running and much more. There are lots of resources out there to help you keep active while you're at home. Joe Wicks, the body coach, for example, has a daily YouTube lesson to help you keep fit that is great fun and you'll be guaranteed to work up a sweat at your own pace. NHS Online has many free resources, as does YouTube. We feel happier after we exercise because our body releases something called endorphins. When you get your blood flowing and your body moving, you release endorphins which reduce stress. Looking after our mind can involve keeping ourselves busy, speaking to our loved ones and sharing our worries. There are helpful resources available online to manage your worries. For example, NHS Every Mind Matters. You can complete a questionnaire that will tailor support for you. Keeping a daily routine is a good way of looking after your mind and body. Try to get up and go to bed at your normal time. We may be experiencing new normal, but we still need to sleep to function and we feel better when we get a good night's sleep. Getting washed and dressed and brushing your teeth is a good way to tell your body the day has begun. Likewise, for the end of the day, getting into nightwear and brushing your teeth will help keep you in a routine for bed. Making sure you get good quality sleep is important for keeping you happy and healthy. Try to limit screen time after 7pm or for the last hour before you go to bed, as light from screens makes it harder for our brains to switch off. It can also be helpful to limit drinking tea and coffee after 6pm as caffeine can make it harder to fall asleep. Try having a bath in the evening and using deep breathing exercises to relax before bed. If you'd normally be in college or day service, try to stick to a timetable of activity, thinking about completing some of the activities you might do there. These might include crafts or dance or drama or writing practice. Keep yourself moving, change positions often, go for a walk, sit in different places in the house and look out of different windows. You want to keep your body moving so you don't cause any stiffness, pain or discomfort. Try to spend time doing activities that are important to you and that give you pleasure. Some examples include crafts, sport, exercise, reading, music, YouTube, podcasts, learning, cooking and spending time with loved ones that you live with. Cleaning around the house can be enjoyable. Try not to worry about how long things take you. Just enjoy things feeling clean when you're done. You can listen to music whilst you work. Try dusting, cleaning windows or hoovering, folding, washing or tidying a cupboard. You might want to spend some time learning to cook a new meal or baking some favourite buns. Our team have easy to follow recipes we can share to help you and your family with this. You might also want to spend some time learning to do some gardening or looking after houseplants. Having a hand massage, painting your nails or having your hair washed and styled by a loved one at home is a relaxing way to spend your time. You may wish to enjoy a bath or put a face mask on. These are just some ways that people like to relax. You could give yourself a little spa experience as a treat. 
Playing games such as board games, puzzles and jigsaws are a fun way to spend time. You can do these alone or with other people. Try not to spend too much time looking at screens. Some people find it useful to set a timer so that they can limit time they spend looking at computer screens. You may want to spend some time listening to music, podcasts or audiobooks or reading a book. Setting goals can help us not to feel as though we have too much to do, but gives us a sense of accomplishment and this can feel good. Some examples include, I'll wash the pots before I go to bed tonight and then I don't have to do them in the morning. I can use that free time to water the plants in my house. Or, I'll look through two drawers today and see if I can give any clothes to charity that I no longer wear. Or, I'll learn to cook pasta this week. Or I will hoover my bedroom today. All of these goals can be completed with help if you need it. Be creative with what you'd like to achieve. Being aware of the triggers that can make you feel low or sad is important so that you can try to minimise these triggers. For example, if you feel sad about how you look when you check Instagram, you could spend some time unfollowing unhelpful accounts or following some more uplifting ones. Also, focusing on what makes you feel happy and uplifted is important. Have a think about how you can put more of these into your daily and weekly routine. For example, does spending time on your favourite game help or baking with your family? It is so important to keep in touch with those who we love and who care about us in this strange time. This can be done in messages, calls, video chats. Your carers or loved ones will be able to provide reassurance for you or direct you to people who can offer support or answer questions. When speaking to people, try to think of interesting things you could talk about, such as a programme you may have watched or something your dog may have done that made you laugh. It can be tempting to talk only of the current situation and how we can't go out, but having some time not thinking about it may help relieve some anxieties. It is important to let people know about your worries, so choose people you trust. Things are difficult for everybody right now, but support is available should you need it and you needn't feel alone. We hope that this video has helped with giving ideas for activities you can do at home that make you feel happy and as free from stress as possible. It's normal to feel worried at times, but focusing on occupation can really help. If you are feeling worried or alone, you can contact the Samaritans who are available anytime, day or night, on free phone number 116 123. Take care and try to enjoy your time at home.